2010 was an exciting year for our Valley and the Regional Chamber. Today, Chamber President Tom Humphreys reflects on the successes of 2010 and looks ahead at what's to come in 2011 and beyond. If you look at 20, uh, 2009 and 2010 and the economy and the downturn in it, uh, I'm really proud of the staff that I work with uh, and our Board of Directors because we've gone through some extremely challenging times and we've actually uh, come through it um, in really good results. The biggest accomplishments of 2010. General Motors, third shift, new car coming offline, uh, working overtime to get the product out because there's a, dem a good demand for it, so early signs are really great. Uh, V&M project, uh, which has gotten a lot of uh, uh, notoriety, which is appropriate because, I mean, it's a huge project and it's a I think it could be the uh, platform for a lot of new opportunities in manufacturing again in the Valley. On economic development in 2011. Right now we have about $500 million in the pipeline. That's coming off one of our banner years of over $700 million. So to see the pipeline that full, and there's a lot of manufacturing in it, uh, makes us feel really good. Is there one big project in there? Is there Another yeah. VNM like project. I mean, what are we looking at? Yeah. Uh, first of all, we're not looking at another VNM, uh, and that's good news because you like to see diversity in your economy. A lot of it is manufacturing. Some of it is distribution. So I, I really can't get into projects and what kind, but uh, rest assured that it's really a nice mix. On international development. In 2010. Eric Planey did a, a great job in uh, starting to lay the platform on where we're going and how we're approaching international attraction. And if you look at uh, 10, we had people in from Israel, uh, China, Taiwan. So I really see the international initiative that we started about three or four years ago, just putting board members in place. And what we expect out of 2011, I think it's going to be an exciting year. On plans for a World Trade Center downtown. We've put a lot of effort into the uh, World Trade Center building, and um, uh, yes, it's early in the year, and we have to some tough hurdles to get over, frankly. But uh, getting over those hurdles, uh, we can see a $9 million private sector uh, investment in downtown Youngstown with a new building. Looking back at 13 years on the job. When I look back at the 13 years I've been here, I am really proud of where we've come. I really, truly am. Am I surprised we're here? No. Because everything's a journey. Industry's growing, the town's cleaner, uh, I think our suburbs should be proud of that. Schools are uh, much better as far as outcome. I think we've got a lot to be proud of and I think we've got seen a lot done in the last decade. Looking ahead to 2011. I love to get up every morning and come to work because I really do think that we make a difference. And when we talk about $423 to start a new job, I don't know how you can get a better job than trying to help people do that. I think we're gonna see growth in a lot of manufacturing areas. I also believe with the strategy that we put in place with International, that I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised of what's yet to come. With the Regional Chamber Report, I'm Kim Gonda.